Hello viewers, welcome back to KTF for everyone and today I am going to start part design in this lecture. So today we will be discussing some of commands in part design and let's begin. After opening your KTF e file, just click on start mechanical design and go to part design and click OK. Okay, now we have to create an axis system. So select, click and drag all the planes and right click and just hide them. Or just create a point, click on OK, and then select an axis system. Here you have to observe, you have to select an horizon, select the horizon, and then click OK. Now select a plane, expand the sketching toolbar, and then click on position sketch, and then click on projection point, and you have to select your horizon. <coughs> Okay, let's start sketching. So let's draw a circle. And let's give our dimensions. Rates constraint. So you have to pick your workbench to just enable the sketch based features. Now select on pad and then click on circle. Here you will find length. So it's in feet. So let's give one feet. Okay. So it will be padded. That means it will be extruded to one feet from the given plane. And just double click. There is one more option mirror extent. You can even click mirror extent so that it will be padded symmetrically from this plane on both the sides. See, so you can observe this. Okay. So now just to pocket. Pocket is nothing but making a hole to the padded object. So in this pad you can have drafted fillet pad and multi pad. So if you select drafted fillet pad and then you have to select a sketch. Okay, let's uh, Okay, for enabling this drafted fillet pad, we have to draw a sketch on any of the plane. So let's select this plane and then projection sketch. Select the projection point as its origin. This is okay. We select it and then click OK. So here it will be enabled. So for drafting fillet pad, you have to select only rectangular or any other cross sections. For circle, it's not possible because it's already smooth. So select rectangle. Oh, let's select center rectangle so it will be symmetrical in all the sides. Okay, so I'm giving the dimensions, making constraint. Yeah, I just made this constraint. Now you have to pick the workbench so that only then you can see the sketch based features. Select drafted fillet pad, pad it to one feet, and then in limit you have to select the plane that you have drawn the figure. So the draft angle is 5 degrees, it will be default. So you can increase or decrease. So I am selecting 10 degree. Let's review this. So you can see this. It's like a pencil. So beautifully we have created a sketch of a pencil. So you can even reduce the draft angle or increase the draft angle to 15 degrees. Let's review. Okay, somewhat thicker sending so 10 degree draft angle let's talk about pocket even to enable this pocket you need a sketch that's why these are all called sketch based features so you have to select a plane and then again same projection sketch and in this projection point you have to select the origin and then click OK so you can then select a circle that's fine I hope let's make it constrained 0 0.35 feet let's see okay. now let's just select pocket click on the selected sketch how much you need to pocket that 
parts or on feet. Depth less view 0.3. Yeah, that's enough. So here we can just put an eraser in this slot. Okay, it looks nice. Eh? Okay, let's again select pad. Select this face. We need a sketch there, so we have to go to plane, then projection sketch, select the projection point, and then click on OK. So let's trace this with the help of yeah, this one. Remember this tool project 3D elements. This tool projects the element. So if I click project 3D element, you can see the sketch will be projected so it's iso constraint you don't need to modify that simply exit the sketch and select on pad see the direction it is padded in the downward direction if you need in upward direction select the reverse direction and then let's increase to 0 0.8 so review that it's too tall and then 0 0.5 mm -hmm. yeah I think that's fine yeah that's the eraser now we have to <coughs> sketch the nib for that select the plane select sketch and then projection point okay where is the origin Let's select the origin okay so let's make this uh, project 3d element and for now Yes. Do, what do we need? Okay, not the top plane. Let's select the vertical plane so that we can shaft it, and we can complete one more toolbar simply. So then, click on projection sketch, and then projection point. Click on the origin, and then click OK. Let's see. Okay, let's draw a line here. What was this called? This is called reference line. So with this we can make symmetrical sketches. And then let's draw a profile here. For that we have to make this projection so that we can sketch from the points and then our sketch be fully closed okay okay what's done so let's isolate this for that we have to select the object right click go to mark on object and then simply isolate and now i have to constrain this then angle constraint I hope that will be fine and then let's just trim this Okay. Let's extend our needle. Yeah, that's fine. Let's constrain this coincidence, and you can see your sketch is fully constrained. That's good. Yeah, good to 
see you can now simply exit the sketch so what you have to do is shaft it click on shaft see your sketch is automatically selected click on sketch and select axis which axis you have to rotate the center axis select the axis the angle 360 let's just preview okay. see your pencil is completed Yeah, and then now let's discuss about groove groove is similar to shaft but shaft is making something like it's like pad that means it will be padded in cylindrical manner and when it comes to groove it will be like pocket that means you it will form a groove in cylindrical manner so for that let's make a groove in our pencil let's select the plane and then position sketch projection point and then its origin let's click ok ok now i want to do a groove in this so for that i am selecting the rectangle let's start from the origin and click on control and select this make that coincidence let's isolate this first so when you are isolating cylindrical objects select project 3d silhouette edges then they will be projected and let's just coincide this point Again, that's not happening. Let's delete them. And let's try this. Okay. So let's again select the plane, projection sketch, projection point. That's our reason. Click on OK. Uh, we need a groove, and that must be smaller one. Before we have drawn, that's with center origin. So if we groove that, we will get a total hole there. So we need, we don't need that. We just need a groove with minimum depth. So I am selecting here. I select a rectangle, and then now with your sketch select groove and then select the sketch that you have drawn so axis i want to rotate this about center axis now just preview with the groove it's just made now so in this groove i want to add a grip here so what we can do we can select the plane and then position sketch projection point and that's origin let's click ok so you will be drawing this plane the plane you have selected let's click on this and then projection now let's quit it and let's pad so in pad in type you have different types so in that you have to select to plane or up to surface so that you can pad this up to other surface so I am selecting up to surface and up to which surface you have to pad to this surface in the reverse direction so I am selecting up to plane to this plane yeah that's pad seats so now I will explain you how to assign colors so for this pad one I just wanted to assign go to properties 
click on graphic so let's make our pencil red color click on apply okay i need a blue grip right click click on the object you can even click on object right click properties go to the that's in graphic i need blue grip okay and then eraser eraser must be white okay yeah. and this was draft click on draft right click go to properties and then let's just make it apply okay press control select edge fillet 1 edge fillet 2 right click open properties then apply the same color as your paper draft now it's time for it. and that's shaft 1 properties and i'm making a black pencil so i apply black color that, that's it your pencil is ready see it's looking so beautiful so that's the thing with just four commands pad pocket shaft and blue you can make your pencil and try your own design i just tried instantly i got an idea i just tried to design a pencil okay thank you from next lecture i will be discussing other features sketch based features so from this video i want to make it simple and short videos so that you won't be bored of anything okay so in upcoming videos i want to design a ferrari beat stay tuned to my videos and also subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so i have already downloaded the blueprint for you guys so after this part designing i will be saying you surface in surface we will be designing this ferrari and i am so excited to teach you how to design this ferrari and i will be even designing different types of vessels that means ships giant ships boats will be doing everything no worries and keep practicing more in this lecture video i am also in description i am providing the link to download a software so you guys can download it and install it on your pcs it's a 64 bit software so you can install them and you can keep practicing thank you